I want to thank the Society of Women Engineers for this award and for your partnership in advancing women in STEM. I have dedicated my career to breaking down barriers to bring diversity to the sciences. Ensuring everyone can pursue a rewarding career in STEM is an issue of, in, of justice and equality, but it's also a national imperative that is becoming more urgent. To address the challenges we face and to remain competitive, we must leverage all of the great talent in this country. We simply cannot succeed if we do not allow everyone a seat at the table. As you know, President Biden recently signed the Chips and Science Act into law. The science portion of this bill is a result of many years of bipartisan work by my committee. It contains several provisions that will address longstanding challenges for women in STEM. It will advance government-wide approach to combating sexual harassment in science. It will push agencies to meet needs of researchers and much, much more. This bill opened the door to a stronger, more robust American innovation enterprise. It will build upon your input on what the scientific community needs to succeed in the 21st century. It takes organizations like the Society of Women Engineers to raise awareness and push for change. Your endorsement and advocacy were key contributors to our success. I am proud that we are able to develop this legislation in a thoughtful, bipartisan way. The future of American science will be a revolution of exploration, discoveries, trailblazing, and innovation. The possibilities are endless and it will be powered by a workforce representing our nation's diversity. So again, thank you for this prestigious award.